Hey guys, welcome to the Daily Smash for Tuesday, March 7th, 2023. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. We had a great dinner on the peninsula. Again, Ocean 21. <laughs> with our friends, Paul and Rachel. And we're in our, our very nice beach house. It's like transitioning, like Heather's daughter, yeah. into a beautiful home. Yeah. It's not done yet. Yeah, we don't have any dicks. Oh, you have one dick in here. <laughs> we have two vaginas. Well. Well. If you were counting, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Uh -huh. Julie, Julie's not putting any <laughs> dick on her on her body anytime soon. Whoa. Hey, now. Sorry. Um, we have a, a wave of new subscribers, well over 100 new subscribers in one day. And uh, our views were up 46% on Monday because we were talking about Heather Dubrow's announcement that her 12-year-old daughter is now a boy. Right. And so many of you weighed in. And we just want to get to... Uh, some very important comments and Bethany Frankel's comments. Yeah, I do. I want to get okay. into Bethany Frankel's comments, but can I just read this one I just read real quick? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Just one. Okay. Somebody said, Lori, how do you say this? Persichino? Pers Persichino. Okay, Lo Lois. Persichino. Persichino. Go ahead. Lois just 16 minutes ago, and it's 919 here. What would you do, Kelly, if your daughter brought home a woman and wanted to get married? fine it's fine they can lick a lot of puss like the dinosaurs what do you <laughs> I, I don't care okay i don't care either if my I daughters want to go that route that's totally fine totally with me too. fine dude and if my daughters want to transgender into a different sex they want to be boys that's cool with me because they're grown-ups they're adults yeah they're adults but if you're 12 years old you're in sixth grade <laughs> you're not making a decision about the rest of your life you're not changing your sexuality you're not taking puberty blockers you're going to go through puberty you're going to do what god intended and then and if you decide as an adult or a, a much older teen to make a change, go ahead. But not when you're 12. Not when you're 12. I'm not pandering to that. I'm nonsense. not pandering. So Can Roger, I, wait, what Roger Keel goes, shame on you, Kelly. These are disgusting comments from you. I'm so disappointed in you. Disappointed on parenting when I was a tomboy. I thought I wanted to be a boy. Actually be quite honest, it would be easier for me to be a boy than a woman, can to I be just quite say, honest. Can I just but say how grateful I am that you did not transition? I got to a point, I was a late bloomer, I wanted to be a boy, I was yeah. a tomboy, but you know what, thank God, thank God my parents didn't put me on hormone blockers, put Puberty a penis blockers. on me, right. and and... No, no. Well, a lot of you said the same thing, that you were tomboys and you grew out of it. And that's what happens to most kids. And if it doesn't, fine. But I say give them And a you chance. know what? A lot of these people, these these guys, they're writing this nonsense. A me, lot of men. Now, let me read one from Robin Jamie. She's the mom of identical twin girls who she had at 41. They're the youngest of six kids. So she's seen 12 years old a few times. No way, no how. Kids make decisions that just aren't good or healthy for them. If I said to my girls tonight they could pick their own bedtime, they'd stay up way too late on a school night. Right. If I didn't remind them to plug in school iPads, they'd be without charged iPads at school. If I didn't tell them no food in their rooms, we'd probably have bugs. I certainly wouldn't trust them to change their entire identity and gender. Let's get them changing their own bed sheets first. Where parents were supposed to guide them. That is being supportive, loving, caring, not this current woke crap. I agree with you. I mean, bravo. <laughs> bravo. Could you imagine if we had a bunch of 12 year olds dictating our society? They wouldn't even know what a PL was. It's profit and loss. They wouldn't even know what the stock market was. They wouldn't know. <laughs> if we had 12 year olds deciding, our, 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 Wait, if a our 12, environment. Like, a good point. If someone else made, if a 12 year old is, is accused of a crime, a serious crime, are they charged as an adult? 99% of the time they're charged as juveniles because they're not adults. They're not making adult decisions. They haven't developed yet. They have child minds. So they're treated as juveniles. You can't let a 12 year old dictate their future. No. 
There's six graders. There's six graders. <laughs> they don't even know how to pay a bill. Aaron's You're going to let them put a freaking penis? And listen, I, on, I their, their, people on their person? Kids are confused. They're, they're experimenting. They're confused. They don't know. Maybe maybe this How many girl? girls in college do I know? We, 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 we've done <laughs> things. Whoa, that, no, on. I'm just saying. Like There are things that you, you do. Experiment? Yes, they're experiments. But then you move on. You move on. To your true self. To your true and self. And maybe that is her true self and good for her if that's her true self to be a boy. But you don't. But she's 12. She's 12. <laughs> she's 12. And oh, and the other thing I thought was so great was so many people said, well, it was Na International Sons Day and she didn't even mention her her son who was born a boy Nick. and been her son his whole life. He's been her son. Instead, she named her 12-year-old daughter who's now announcing that she wants to be a boy on International Sons. They ignored Nick. So, so Nick, we know Nick. Beautiful child, amazing kid. Okay, the kid is so polite. I beat him at pool. He's a gorgeous boy. Okay, he is. Kicked his ass. So, our friend was dating the daughter. Okay, that the, she was a girlfriend, and uh -huh. she said that he was stressed out beyond belief. That he had anxiety. I don't know what's going on in that Debro family. And I'm, this is the truth, and I can give names, but I'm not going to right now. Okay. But this is the truth. That kid is so stressed out in that household. I, I, you know what? I don't care how much money you have in the world. There's something freaky deaky going on in that family. Well, and I, I don't know why people would want to watch this train wreck going I, on. I'm looking through these hundreds and hundreds of comments because there were several of them that talked about that particular point this one's actually pretty funny wjr 7660 i begged to be fonzie if my parents had listened to me from 9 to 12 i'd be a 56 year old henry winkler they bought me a pleather jacket instead a lot of you said that you were late bloomers you were tomboys uh, but you stayed a girl and you were grateful that you stayed a girl Okay, so can I read about Bethany Frankel? Because of course, she she she's so absurd. So again, one of our, our patrons, Bree, she uh, she texted this to me. Oh wait, which is so okay, unbelievable. So this is from Bethany Frankel, and Bethany Frankel talks about me all the time. Okay, she does these rewives, housewives, and I don't subscribe to her thing because I find her to be absolutely obnoxious and I think that she's ridiculous and she she she's she seems like she would be very very hard to be with like like any no man could put up with this chick okay let's just be honest so this is from Bethany Frankel this is the weekend for deep content if I keep this up, I have to go back on reality TV to mix up some shallow into the batter. This, this is my daughter, Bryn, and her friend, Ace, the son of Heather and Dr. Debro. Okay, I'm just gonna stop because it's, it's, there's like double spaces, quadruple spaces in here. This is my daughter, Bryn, and her friend, Ace, the son. Okay, they went on one slope together and now they're friends. It's a girl, okay? She's a daughter. She doesn't have a dick. She's not going through. She's a girl, okay? Let's just get that clear, uh, Bethany Frankel. Isn't I've known Heather for decades. Heather was a young actress and friends with my ex-husband, Peter, brother, Danny. Recent life events have made me very nostalgic and want to make the effort to connect to people from my past. So I ran into Heather and her husband, Terry, in Aspen on the street. I was open. <laughs> My usual state is closed. Okay. Well, it's so impressive that you were open to talking to Heather Dubrow because normally you wouldn't talk to anyone. But what does this mean? Recent life events have made me very nostalgic, nostalgic, nostalgic. And, and want to make the effort to connect to people from my past. And she ran into her on the street of Aspen. Right. So, <laughs> and what? you both were on reality shows. You're on so both you said, reality shows. Yes. you want to have a dinner together. So okay. you're, you want to keep it nostalgic. Yeah, congratulations. Wow, you, you really stepped outside your shell. shell. <laughs> Exactly. Ooh, that was so brave of oh, you. yeah. So brave of you to uh -huh. step out and say hi, which you ran into. We other. saw each other again. At we dinner. saw each other again at dinner, and I met her beautiful, sweet son. It's a girl, you dumbass, Bethany Frankel. 
around Bryn's age. Bryn and Ace made plans to hit the slopes. I soon received a text from Heather saying that Ace had received recently. Uh, was it recently transitioned. She felt she needed to make some clarifications. It's a new world now. What a world! A world now! A, a new world that you're pandering to this woke mob. It's a w- new world now that it's you can't you can't be a parent and say no. You're you're. It's a new world now, Heather Debro, that you can't step up and say I have to be a friend to my like that my twelve year old can make decisions. Is that what that is? I, I, I want to know what that means. It's a new world now. I, I'm, no, I'm, it's not. I'm glad that it's I'm the not the parent world. of a 12-year-old. It's the same world that has been for billions of years, okay? There's a right way and there's a wrong way of doing things, okay? That's 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 the world that's always been, Heather DeBro. So I, I just get, it just makes me so outraged. So um, she felt the need to, to some clarification. It's a new world now. Thankfully... Every moment is a learning experience. No shit, you're 12 years old. You have a whole life ahead of you to learn. When I first met Ace at the table, there was a noticeable joy and happiness in the essence and an extra dose of sweetness, which I communicate to Heather after, the, after dinner. Really? You know what? Let me just stop there. When I was at Farrell's with my, ki- my friends at 12 years old and we had some ice cream, we had... <laughs> we had an essence and an extra dose of sweetness too. Okay. Wait, you were happy when you were 12? Y- you were happy? You had yeah. good times when you were 12 years old? Yeah. And there was an extra sweetness. That's remarkable. Oh God. Wow. Yeah. Great. Extra dose of sweetness. Great. Yeah. Isn't that great? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> which I communicate to Heather after dinner because my kids went on the slopes and now they're out to dinner and they're having fun and I, they have friends to hang out with. Yes! Okay, there was something extra about him. Upon reflection, I was sure it was that he is allowed to be extra happy about him. Upon reflection, she keeps saying reflection over uh-huh. and over again. Yeah. Okay. She said reflection like 10 times in one freaking paragraph. Okay. And I'm not a writer by any, by any state of the means, but upon reflection, she said reflection like a hundred times. I was sure it was that he is allowed to be who he actually is. You're 12. You're 12. Dumbass. Bryn and Ace quickly became friends, texting, skiing, and snowboarding, posting TikToks, and going to Bryn's Aspen dog tour. Okay, that's what kids do at 12. They have a good time. They go skiing. They go see the dogs. So the point of this is that this this kid is a normal kid, right? Yeah. That's the point. Yeah. They're friends. They're normal kids. Yeah. Doing kid things. Doing kid things. And they're extra happy. (laughs) (laughs) I <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Um, well, they're in Aspen. And yeah, snowing. that's what it's happens. Like, okay, cool place to be. She met a friend. They're, they're they mean. Yeah, yeah. They they now met each other. Now they're having a good time together right. because either one either that's one of them worry. either one of them had friends there to begin with. <laughs> so now they met friends and now they're fun and they're having a good time. All right. Okay. Whatever. So wait here. Who cares? Wait. Lastly, I've always said and believed you can't be who you're not. You can't be who you're not. You, she's 12. She's 12. You said to allow yourself to be free and being who you are. Life is so short and precious. Okay. Life is so short at 12 years old. Yeah. And it is precious. Bethany Frankel. Uh, Be who you want to be and be a good person in the process. Yeah. Okay. That's, That's really wise. That is so profound, Bethany Frankel, at a 12-year-old. You know, okay. listen, I think what we all have to remember is that 12-year-old kids are still developing. They're not fully mature, and many of them change their minds. They go back and forth. They think they're one thing, then they think they're something else, and then they wind up being who they are intended to be. Let's let kids be kids. Can we just do that and stop pandering to this movement and allowing uh puberty blockers to alter body chemistry at an early developmental stage and then changing who they're intended to be for who they think they might want to be at that age when they're not ready to make decisions about the rest of their lives. Bethany Frankel, Coco is not a boy. It's a girl. 
Okay. So stop pandering to this woke mob. Okay. I don't know you two anorexic chicks that are doing these weird things. Okay. Get your kids into more things with other children and maybe they will have fun. I want to get to some other comments here from Susanna Hirano. Do bros have one bisexual daughter, one lesbian daughter and one transgender daughter? What are the chances of that legit happening to straight married parents? More than a million to one? There's some freaky deaky stuff going on there. Do any of you know families like that? Maybe it's more common than we think. No, it's not. But this person didn't think so. I feel it's child abuse, said Kay Pisano. At 12 years of age, it's your responsibility to be and act as a parent. Wait till the child is 18 and then let him or her make their own decisions. A lot of people... What are the odds that one out of four kids, one is bi, one is gay, one is trans? I feel like it's an attention grab. For yes. Them. Outing the 12 year old is sick, it no is. matter how they dress the situation up. It's and sick. And she said that when he is ready, maybe he'll tell his story. Well, why did you tell his story? Thank you, at Grace the age Marie. Of 12. Yeah, thanks, Grace Marie, for having I mean, some kind of decorum. Kate Gillette, a 12 year old, knows nothing. Their scope is too small. They can only understand what feels good at this point. And to a 12-year-old, that is pure acceptance. See? Oh, that's with the girl. That's when when, when they made friends. They went to the slopes. They had a meal. They had a good time together. But if your world... I don't think these kids have friends. If your world is full of transgender, bisexual, lesbian, that's all you know and it's all around you, then like maybe I'm that way so I can be accepted by my family. Okay. Because God forbid I'd be a, like a, a straight girl and then be ostracized because I'm Heather, not cool like them. Heather and Terry are uh, want to be like the cool parents. I'm the cool parents. I'm progressive. I'm I'm doing these things to be cool parents. <laughs> Your kids are screwed up, dude. <laughs> like, let's just be honest. Let's call it space pain. And you know what? Bethany Frankel, you're just as screwed up for pandering to this audience. Mary, I thought you were different from this. Marianne said 12-year-olds aren't smart. They need adult protection. Kelly, you are on point. Thank you. I was a tomboy. If I knew I had to commit and identify as a boy, I would be a different person today with no kids. Exactly. I mean, listen, and and I think it's really important that we both are on the record that we fully support the gay community, fully support the transgender community. We're not coming out against any of that. Any choices that any adult wants to make, I'm cool with it. Are you cool with it? Totally cool with it. I, we, I mean, one hundred percent cool with it. More gay friends than anyone I've ever met. Yes, I'm totally cool with that. And 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 I, uh, I have zero issues with any of it except when you're talking about a child. This is what bothers me: is it's a 12 year old kid, and you don't just pander to that child who thinks they want something now, and they change their mind down the road. And now, what have you done? If you block their puberty, you've completely changed the rest of their life. Okay, you have. And if you go through with some kind of hormone treatment, and then potentially surgery, and then God forbid they change their mind because a lot of them have. And then what? what now you have to what, what transition happened? back? What, what? Why not just let them grow up and when they're an adult or close to being an adult, then they can make a decision about their own body. What, what, what would have happened if Angelina Jolie or Brad Pitt would have done that to Shiloh? Shiloh yeah. is a thriving woman. She's gorgeous. She, she didn't pander to this audience. She didn't do that. She didn't come out and like speak spill it all over like she's some it's ridiculous it's ridiculous we all change as women i want to read our one home more. look at we're change women hormones change we oh, turn yeah. into men oh, when yeah. we're, we're old we have to get hormones Let me- <laughs> because we turn into dudes i want to read one more from and you can turn into chicks no i don't <laughs> that's not happening k dub free Unbelievable that HD would blast this throughout the universe. If the little girl wants to be a boy, that's a private matter. How absolutely mortifying for her. With guidance and God in our homes, this can be avoided. And don't justify this as, but this is how she feels and what she wants. That's too effing bad. A 12-year-old shouldn't be able to make a life-altering, life-changing decision of this magnitude to allow this child to be put on puberty blocker blockers to allow this child to be put on puberty blockers falls 100 percent into the child abuse category according to k-dub free 
If you so even raise your voice to, to your child these days, CPS can show up. But to knowingly put a child on puberty blockers is okay? This is some woke-ass buffoonery, and it will not be normalized. Thank you. That's I it. love that. I think we have to end there. Yeah. I think that's perfectly well said. I appreciate every one of your comments. They're amazing. I get some weirdos in there. They're like talking nonsense and they said that I'm uneducated. Okay. And said that my daughter hates me. My daughter lives with me full time. She doesn't want to be at her dad's. And Kelly is really. actually very, very smart. Every day she surprises me with some new fact, some new insight, some new I, revelation. I, listen, I just want my kid to grow and thrive and be the best person on but I don't need to put anything out there in the universe. Right. She's a child. And, and I don't 12, say what she's go, what's going on. Let them go through life. what they're going through. But I can tell you what, what I'm a good parent and yes, she's thriving. Are. Yes, you and she's are. getting and great yes, she grades. Is. She's got a job. She's got a car. She's driving. Great room. She's Wait got a see great her room. room. <laughs> the chick is amazing. Yes. She's We're not, very com- proud of she's her. not confused. Nope. In any sort of any no. manner. She's right. got God in her life. She goes to Catholic school. Good job, mom. Yeah. Good job. That's parenting. Okay? We hope you enjoyed this smash. Uh, we have we got a little smashed earlier. but Well, we, I had two glasses of wine. I'm like, but I didn't eat all day. I'm on a carnivore diet. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Yeah. We're excited I'm on a, I'm on a carnivore diet. I have Hashimoto's. And my girlfriend says this will cure it. She says she still drinks red wine. And she lost a lot of weight. So... We're going to see if this works for me. So Let's watch your journey. Let's watch my journey on the carnivore diet. We hope you have a diet. fantastic day, everybody. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so we'll much. see you tomorrow.